Uh -huh. Dee. What's up, man? 137th World's Oldest Rodeo Tickets sale begins March 4th. Did you hear that, people? March 4th. 4th. March the 4th be with you? No, it doesn't March work. March the 4th be with you. Tickets for the rodeo in Prescott go on sale this year. So, Do you know why? Oh, why? You know I like to quiz you. Uh, I, I would think because, well, the rodeos. But shouldn't I have already been able to buy my tickets by now? Isn't it? We don't like the word should because that if you really think about you. that word. Shit on no you. shitting on me. I shitting on you. Well, they <laughs> the Prescott Frontier Days Rodeo Grounds mm -hmm. and the rodeo had to change ticket vendors because Why? of uh, scammers. They're trying to protect us. So this year they had a little bit of a delay, but all better. March 4th, tickets are on sale. Get your tickets March 4th, folks. Okay, I'm excited about that. So that's the only thing changing though, right? That's the only Rodeo thing changing. still happening summertime, it's all Otherwise, good. Otherwise, the uh, world's biggest show in Prescott every year. The so Prescott 137th. Radio. 137th, it's up there. Holy cow, so they must have this pretty well dialed in by now. A little bit. Got a I great gym so. and Jim Dewey Brown. Got a great board. What is Broken Spoke Clydesdale? Is that the little wagons that are out there with the little... Mm, not so little wagons. Big it's wagons, the big huh? Stage Those are the ones where they by. like can yeah. turn them and pivot the wagon with yeah. the horses pulling them. Yeah, yeah they're cool. It's also, awesome. Tomas Garce... Ooh, Garcilazo, Garcilazo, Matt Tar, Bo Shooth, and Quirt Hunt. Hunt. Wow, you can really screw that one up. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, a cowboy. I'm guessing. To name, some, a he's a bullfighter. A bullfighter. Toro, uh, Toro, to name Toro. a few. Beware the ticket scammers. Get your tickets only at the world's Otis rodeo.com forward slash tickets. For so. an average price ticket, the most you will ever pay is like 40 to 50 bucks. There you go. You heard don't, it right here don't on go, my drive. Don't go buy $500 tickets from some other, uh, some other vendor. Those are not real. <laughs> it's going ripped right. off. So Yikes. I think we covered the ticket issue. I think we. Fantastic. Very excited. Are you going? Um, Always go. Always go. Always go. Fantastic. Um, moving on. What What's do you want to cover on? next? I want to, because I'm, I'm feeling on. like rodeo, but then I'm feeling like Rock and River Ranch kind of ties it's into kinda that. kind of where I was going. Rock and River Ranch State Park, first to open since 2016. Um, so Arizona has a new state park. It's called Rock and River Ranch. It's located in Camp Verde, which opened on February 9th. The park will be open for day use on Friday, Saturdays, and Sundays from 9 to 5. Cost just 7 bucks. For use of the 209 acre park, which includes six trailheads, fishing, mountain biking, and wildlife watching. For more information, visit azstateparks.com forward slash rockin' dash river. That's awesome. That's pretty That's cool. Fun. So I'm always trying to f send Frank out to fish. Now I can send him there. Go get some, well, he's busy making a patio for you. Two weeks, it's done. Be easy, the man. Two weeks, done. I'm watching out for you, Frank, if you're listening. <laughs> Cougar Country Spring 2024 wow. issue is now available both online and in print. You Love can go it. to signalsaz.com or if you live in Chino Valley, 6,000 were delivered this past week to homes throughout mm -hmm. Chino Valley. Lots of new advertisers in that book. Lots of good deals in there for Chino and, and the beyond. Chino and beyond. Idealios. Speaking of other deals, there's a large bet. space, commercial lease space available in Prescott Valley headquarters on Main, spacious and desirable. 2,100, almost 2,200 square foot space by Fane Studio Group is available for lease, located at 3001 North Main. Suite 2E is an echo in Prescott echo. Valley. And just go to FaneSignatureGroup.com and oh contact them for more info. And if you rent to that space or lease that space, you could come hang out with us. Mm -hmm. You have to be cool though. You got to be cool. Walking distance to Talking Glass Media, to Finley Toyota Center, Homestead Harkins Apartments, Popcorn, Harkins Theater, my, and over seven restaurants. My daughter lives in Homestead and she loves it. She just goes right down her stairs and she's in the middle of everything. It's awesome. Very cool. She digs it. Dignity Health, which is also very close to here. Dignity Health YRMC opening new lab draw station. So um, for blood. Blood in Chino Valley, located at 488 North Highway 89 Suite 1 and the Ranch Plaza in Chino Valley. So watch out for them, Draculas. Draculas. Draw that blood. What is which CWAG? Which is good. We need better health care. It's happening. It's, it's growing. What, what is CWAG? 
What is that? CWAG, CWAG, Citizens Water Advocacy Group, has come up with a water saving concept that has not been tried in our region yet. Hmm. And Fane Citrus Group and Brown Homes are willing to try it out the proposed, uh, for the proposed Lakeshore 650 subdivision. Oh, okay. The concept is called Water Neutral Development or WND. I don't know if I like WND. It sounds like hmm. WMD, but, you know, going yeah. through the war. And oh, allies. Gotcha. The, the water neutral development outlines how to design subdivisions to collect storm water and recharge it for future use before it evaporates. To learn more about this, visit the article on Signals AZ titled CWAG Population Growth Versus Water. So I need to know how to become part of this citizens water advocacy group. Is there? Can you join it? Is they got it- a website. If you just search CWAG or their name as you just mentioned you'll probably find it and they got a facebook page as well so, so instead of complaining out. about water you can actually go on and well do they're something? starting to you know it's it's changing there everyone's realizing we can't keep saying the sky is falling we have to come up with solutions sure. we have to work together um, and i think that's their approach and i'm glad that they're starting to reach out to the leading community builders to come up with solutions some may work some may not but we just have to try instead of argue, which is what's been happening for a few years. Well, it's I all agree. good. I agree. Frank's got rain barrels all over the yard. Gary Beverly so. wrote that article from CWAG, and it's a good article. Nice. So I recommend you guys read it. Moving on. Do you need a job? Do I need a job? You got a job? I got a job. I got a job, got a job. but there's always room for more. You never know. You've got about, what, two hours a week, I think, that you could squeeze in a part-time yeah, job. Maybe yeah, give up some sleeping I got time. A, got a lot of ranch men- <laughs> fence mending on the weekend, so... Yavapai College and Chino Valley Job Fair is coming up March 1st in Chino Valley um, from 12 to 2, early admission 1130 for veterans, individuals over 55, and job seekers with disabilities. So go check that out. I was going to do that too. So this is Harlem Globetrotters. You got it? Can you dribble? Not like out of your, like. <laughs> yeah, I just spilled the water. Yeah. Uh, Saturday, March 2nd, hence my my humming, 2 to 5 <laughs> p.m. at the Finley Toyota Center. The Harlem Globetrotters <laughs> don't miss your chance to be a part of the world-famous Harlem Globetrotters global tour as they take the court with moments of extreme basketball innovation and unparalleled, unparalleled fan fun. For tickets, FinleyToyotaCenter.com. Speaking of Finley Toyota Center, you know what I did this weekend? Nope. I got to go and judge the cheerleaders or the dancers for the Wrangler, Naz Wranglers. How did that go? Um, went good. They're very, they all were Cheery. very great. Yeah, it's funny because I are don't do cheer. I, I don't do dance. I do cheer, which is a little different, but very cool. They're going to have a great, it's different. It's different. I do cheer. So how I don't can the, cheer, the Wrangler cheerleaders be different than cheerleaders? So different. <clears throat> they're de- so they're Wrangler dancers. Wrangler dancers, yeah. And they're not they're cheerleaders, more dancers. but they're cheerleaders. Yeah, I mean they they lead the it's crowd. Su- it's semantics. I'm guessing in the cheer dance world, which I am not familiar with. Anyway, it was okay. fun. Um, you know what I got to see though is one of the co-owners of the team was there, and they had the big nationals when they won nice. the championship. They had the big championship ring on, and so that was pretty cool. So I got to see the big ring, and then um, got to meet the mascot and all that cool stuff, and ran into Blushing Cactus there. So it was nice. When they're my favorite everywhere. peoples, super fun. So um, season kicks off March sixteenth against the Rattlers. Um, go for football if you wanna. Go see the new cheerleaders, dancers, dancers. if you want to. Or you can go for halftime and watch Storm perform during halftime. Whatever oh. you want to do. Yeah. So nice. Storm will be there too. So it'll be fun. So it'll you'll be have a- dancers and, and cheerleaders. cheerleaders. So you get the whole spectrum of get movements. It all. Get it all. So just pom poms. That's the difference. Pom poms. They've got pom poms. They have, pom- there's, they don't Is stunt. that opening game? You're talking yeah, about? March 16th. March 16th? Mm-hmm. Okay. You even covered that. It's not even on our docket. Look at me. Sports and your sports What a pro. Families in jammies. I'm Saturday, March 2nd, starting at 5.30 p.m. at the Chino Valley Community Center. Celebrate Dr. Zeus's birthday in your jammies. For more information, visit chinoaz.net forward slash calendar. Look at you. Um, That'd be pretty cool. 
That just you can go watch the Harlem Globetrotters, run over to see Dr. Seuss. But Chino Valley's got more and more going on. Yeah. That's Cindy Thomas over there does a good job. She's doing a great job. You know, what's funny is when I was younger and all my kids were in daycare, I was frazzled all the time and I'm running my kids from one place to another and working full time and coaching and all that stuff. And I dropped my kids off at daycare and the lady's like, guess whose birthday it is today? And I was like, holy crap, I forgot my kid's birthday. Like, which one of my kids is having a birthday? And she's like, no, we're having green eggs and ham because it was Dr. Seuss's birthday. Boom. But I thought I forgot my kid's birthday, but apparently it's a big deal. For Speaking Dr. of Seuss. forgetting about things, all new grooms forget this at some point. <sighs> the Prescott Wedding Expo is coming up oh. Sunday, March 3rd from 10 to 4 p.m. at the Sam Hill Warehouse in Prescott. Sam Hill. So they need little... Post-it note reminders for new grooms, like don't forget your first anniversary. Join them at the largest and longest running wedding expo in Northern Arizona, over 50 amazing wedding professionals. So if you're getting married, but um bum but um bum who are dun, ready to dun. make your wedding dreams come true. For more info, visit PrescottWeddingExpo.com or email info at starstruck-event.com. You know it'd be super smart for Wilson. His birthday is on Valentine's yeah, Day. Yeah, Wilson. You know, so you I think ready, that Wilson, buddy. if he, if you ever get married, he should get married on Valentine's Day because then you never all forget. events yeah, I mean, are under one. My girlfriend's birthday is March 3rd. So there we go. You're just tying it in. Tying I'll take her to the wedding expo for her birthday. Happy birthday. Just Here's to look free around. Cake. Here, no. <laughs> and then tie your shoe right at the end. Yeah. And then get down on time. <laughs> like, oh, my gosh. <laughs> I didn't think the same would ever happen. Or uh, you can take her to the farmer's market. Yeah, Let's take her to the farmer's, farmer's market. market because Saturday, March 2nd, 930 to 1230, Dignity Health YMC parking lot where you could probably mm -hmm. draw blood too if you wanted to. Probably, yeah. Get what her a nice- wrong, Drawing blood and buying food yeah. at the same time. Hey, you could get her like 24 carrots. <laughs> uh, yeah, a yeah. 24 carat- no, we're carrot rig. We're Carrots. regulars at that farmer's market. That's There's nothing fun. too special. Here's what I don't like about that place. I love it because the food they got fantastic. Okay. What's with not bringing dogs? Oh, you can't oh, bring dogs yeah. there? I think it's, it's outside. I think they pee on stuff. Uh, you know? Not Thor. Thor would never. <laughs> I don't it's it's an asphalt parking lot. Who's yeah, so like that kind of it's it's the silliest role. Oh, so first I, time I went, I walked up with my dog, and it was actually a family friend that worked for them. They're like, hey, so good hey, to see you. Turn around. Yeah. Sorry. So I walked the whole thing. This is probably over a year ago. And I brought Thor, and Thor is 100 and something pounds. He's a giant, all-white Great Pyrenees. You can't miss him. You might as well have a stop sign on him. I walk the whole thing and I'm walking out and I get like mobbed, like, you can't bring your dog here. I'm like, I already did. That <laughs> burned. Um, they probably thought it was a person. <laughs> they said that the sign wasn't, I, did, I guess where I parked, I just didn't see the sign. But I just find it's odd. It's outside. Yeah. Maybe I they're guess, afraid you know, they they're going to eat actor, the, you know, one broccoli. bad actor. Really? No. I don't even know. I'm not going to mess up. He likes carrots. But lots of great vendors. Amazing vendors. At they the have amazing market. vendors. I just have to work. We have to work on our dog rule because that's just not cool. Thor's people. I know. They I'm just don't you. know that. You got the next one? Woman Artists of the West. 54th National Exhibition. Our people. At the Fippin. At the Fippin. March 1st, 5 o'clock. Dream Weavers will feature 130 original paintings and sculptures at the Pippin Marley Gallery from March 1st through June 23rd. You got plenty of time. You got plenty of time. This will be a cool event. It must be amazing if it's going to be there for two, three months. Good event. So who, who sang the song oh. Dream Weaver? Dream Weaver. Do you know? I don't know. What's the first letter? Of uh, the first name? Yeah. G. <laughs> Adobe. <laughs> I have no idea. I wouldn't even know what that means. G. I'm gonna I love this song. It's a cool song. I must have had a great childhood. You guys know this song? It's one of my favorite songs of all time. It's Not yet. I would have never in a million years. It's a great song. 
It is a great song. As I'm getting older, I'm getting more in touch with the older music. Frank's so proud of me, too. Does anybody know when this was published? 1847. <laughs> <laughs> I would say oh nine seventy eight. I would say 78. This is in the 70s. I would say 78. 76, 78. I know exactly. It's definitely the 70s. Yeah, definitely. It's 1975, December 1975. We're faded out like the production guy would do. That is well, Gary Wright. Then you got to come back like a drive time and say, that's Dreamweaver. I'm Dreamweaver. I'm Dream just Gary the Wright, tunes. Dreamweaver. Dreamweaver. So what Give movies did you watch today, uh, this week? You know what? We had picture day this weekend. So that was a whole event. I'm telling you, I'm addicted to this next level chef. It makes me want to be a better cooker. I want to cook now. What did you watch? What did we watch? Um, so we watched the last episode of Masters of the Air, which was pretty good. Waiting for the next one. Buck is still alive. He's at a POW camp. That's the last one we saw. So the next one I think we see is them trying to escape <laughs> and all kinds of stuff. Um, and then we're watching... She's cracking up with something over there. Well, speaking of escaping, we watched like many episodes of Almost Got Away With It. Have you ever seen the show? And for the record, they didn't almost get away with it. They all were making big mistakes during, like most of it is murder or it's usually all, but the one that made me laugh, it's terrible acting in these things, recreations. They stole a tour bus of Crystal Gale. So she's having this big concert and he like gets the keys and jumps in the tour bus and is driving, like running from the law in, in a bus. tour bus. <laughs> they end up getting caught and they didn't almost get away with it. The cops knew who it was the whole time. I thought it was going to be more of like, oh, I, you know, lived this whole double life for 40 years and I got away with it. But this tipped him off. They know who you are from the beginning. They just got to go find you. You've been hiding. And one was a crackhead. She was... She, I don't know how she didn't, how she got away with it even for five minutes because she couldn't stay away from the crack. So she got out of her town, but she started Can't doing stay crack away again. From the crack. Can't you know stay what the new crack is? Away from the crack. It's overtaking fentanyl? Dots Cheetos. No, that's not what I heard. What do you, Cheetos? If it involves Cheetos, I'm in. The, they're the Dots, <laughs> the pretzel lady, the Dots Cheetos. That is, it's, what is um, it? it? It's some type of animal tranquilizer and it's, it's rotting Ugh. people's flesh. Tra they call it Trank. Ew. Short for tranquilizer. What's wrong with people? Eat Cheetos. I, 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 I was going to say, Put you might as well go pipe. for the hot Cheetos. <laughs> right? Um, so, yeah, Master's Air we watched. I don't know how we got on Dot Cheetos. <laughs> and then um, we re-binged 1880. Uh, we re-binged 1923. And now we're starting to re-binge 1883 to get ready for the next season of 1923. We're kind of going in reverse, chronologically speaking. Chronologically. Are those the Yellowstone shows? Is that what the yeah, and then Oh. I saw the episode where What's-His-Face shoots a bunch of bad dudes, and he was using my new Henry Big Boy, hardened steel. I thought you were say John uh, Wick. Lever rifle. He did like the John Wick <laughs> pose. Hmm. Yeah. So I think the next... Fast and Furious, they're actually going to go back in time, that they're going to be able to drive their cars fast wagons. enough to go back into <laughs> cover. <laughs> <laughs> what is that, a Clydesdale you got under that hood? <laughs> Chicken. <laughs> Do you know what it means to be an auto technician? You'd have to ask Auto Works in Prescott Valley Service and Repair with John Lonis. I think that's a good idea. How would we do that? You could go to cast11.com or you could simply Google Auto Works Podcast. And his shizzle will come up at the top of the fizzle. The, you're too hip for me. <laughs> I was just going to go hang out in his cool building out on Highway 69 and ask him questions when he seemed to not have his head under a hood. But this is a oh, much nice. better head idea. Under a hood. I like that. It's a much better, better idea. Better than under a stagecoach. Yeah. Well, see. Tune in to Fast and Furious 2024. You never know. Prescott Boys Basketball. Last local team standing in the winter playoffs. Uh, your boy. Torrance, Torrance T.D. Dunham, our prodigal sports son of Cast11.com, talking at Central Arizona Sports. Uh, 
what do you want me to do? Go Bears? I don't know. As you go, pointed you're to the me, sports go. person. So I have to remind myself that there's more <laughs> than football. Football's over. We're getting ready for the draft. There is more than football. Do you know why? What do why? you do with yourself when there's no football? Nothing. Did you see Laundry. your boys in Phoenix over the weekend? Yes. Yeah. And if I had known, That's I would have been cool. there. Jamar Chase and Joe um, Burrow, Joe Burrow. We're, at, we're at Suns Lakers on Saturday or Sunday. They were right here. Saw them I hanging saw out it. with Book. That was pretty cool. So my boys from the Bengals were here watching the Suns game and they were sitting courtside. So it would have been very expensive for me to to see them. But You could have busted out that tattoo. <laughs> We can sign this. <laughs> that's that's that feeling I have when I see like Devin Booker like goes to Sedona for the day. I'm like, you couldn't have just let me know, man. I've been to Sedona. We can cross paths, hook up, let's hang out, man. Do you know who was Gosh. here? It was JoJo from The Bachelor. Joe, her name is Joelle, and she married Aaron Rodgers' brother. Mm. They met on The Bachelor, and they were in Prescott. Like, no way, because they they do like home Dang. flips and stuff. That's cool. Like, dude, I'm in Prescott. Aaron Rodgers, the dude that went to the big house. No, oh, Aaron Rodgers is the one Rodgers. who got to oh, play that's for. That's a Who am I thinking? Rodriguez. Um, Hernandez. Hernandez. Wow. <laughs> you had, I, three times is a charm. <laughs> it's too soon, man. Uh, that's how rumors get started, right? Aaron, her, Ooh, Aaron, misinformed. Aaron Rodgers is the one that got to play, what, three plays for the Jets this season before he was out mm, for the season? Just, just a disclaimer. It's our, our already obvious I'm not a football fan, so getting all the names wrong it's is fine. right it's, on par for me i can talk to you about all of them unless they play ba basketball but good for joe burrow and jamar chase out hanging with basketball boys because even they don't know what to do right now there's nothing going on in football i know what i'm gonna go do right now we're gonna go do? Have a bag of cheetos dots don't <laughs> disclaimer to the world i'm hungry do not buy a bag of dots cheetos you will have to go to rehab <laughs> so, so i just saw what was it oh the ad, I thought, ever seen the ad just seems like it's reaching. Mm -hmm. So we're watching like 1923 on Apple or whatever. And it was one of those versions through Paramount. It's all very confusing because all these platforms oh, are merging. Yeah. You got Paramount Plus and you got. And so I thought we were watching it on Apple TV, but really it was coming through Paramount Plus. And so we had to watch advertisements, right? Which it's is kind ridiculous. of a bummer. And which usually we don't. But the ad at the end was for Fritos. And it, it says some like quality foods and such and such. And they're pouring the bags of Fritos and the chili out on the range. I'm like, really? Reaching. I go, yeah, I, I, oh, that's quality cuisine. You know, <laughs> you know the Cowboys are not out there eating right? walking tacos. Maybe. Fritos Maybe. are good. I occasionally eat them. They're I mean, if I was going to be horseback, I'd you know cut the... But Remember back in the day, you cut I'm the not little. Thinking of a bag of Fritos, no, maybe hot jerky, Cheetos. <laughs> some jerky, chewing tobacco. Okay, I, I think we've covered it. Ideally of the week, ten percent off. The, what is the deal of the week? Affordable auto repair, ten percent off any labor on any auto service. So, go fix your car. And where are they at? They are out of Chino. Oh, the Chino, affordable yeah. auto repair in Chino, ten percent off. Yep. Labor Just on any. Go to signalsaz.com forward slash deals to get your idealio, put it on your phone, and walk in there and get fixed. I'd be like, dude, 10% off. Hook it up. I did. My wife did that for the P Vine store uh, last week and bought a whole bunch of trinkets. <sighs> that filling store another is corner too up in our cute. house. cute. Do you have any corners left? Nope. Nope. That's nope. all I got. That's all I got. See you next week for my drive. Watch out for what? Roundabouts. Nice. See ya. Later.